guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm Architect Webhubi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the revision part A, drawing. And in this video, we are going to be discussing about the revision part B, which is aptitude. And this is the part one of the aptitude revision. So without wasting more time, let us start. So the first topic that we have for the revision is analytical reasoning. So we have verbal and non-verbal. Okay, so let us discuss that. So in analytical reasoning, we have verbal and non-verbal reasoning and we have total of 13 to 14, uh, you know, topics. So we have formation of figures, cubes in patterns, understanding patterns, hidden figures, mirror image, water image, counting of figures, classification, analogy, projection, matching rotated figures, visual comparison and figure com completion. So in this video, we are going to be discussing some of the basic things that we have discussed earlier as well. So let us start with the analytical reasoning. So now as you can see here we have unfolded cubes which had these formulas or you can say the types of unfolded cubes that you have to remember. Okay. So even if you get such type of unfolded cube or such type of unfolded cube. So you will know 1 lies to 5, 2 lies to 4 and 3 lies to 6. So these phases are opposite to what phase okay so you have to keep all these five unfolded cube patterns in your mind to be able to solve the questions related to unfolded cube okay we have mirror image and water image right so you should be knowing that how a looks in your mirror image and how a looks in your water image so we have discussed this as well so for the revision i have just given you the letters and the numbers over here and one example then we have projections so we have top view side view front view elevations so likewise you can see in this example number one you have been given one isometric view and you have to answer which is the incorrect figure so if you look at the figure a is definitely the option because A is the plan, right? Even D can be the plan. C is also the option, but B is not the option because these two lines, if you look at this object carefully, how it will appear? It will appear like option number A, okay? So you have to solve projections also. This is one of the important topics as well. Then we have some of the questions so you have to solve these questions for yourself so we have formation of figures then cubes and patterns i will link down the answers in the description box below you have then hidden figure mirror image water image i have tried to give you some of the examples or the questions for your understanding and you can solve them so it can be a part of mock test for you then we have counting of figures counting of surfaces etc then we have projections okay so in this case you have been given top view front view side view and you have to search for which is the isometric correct view and then here you have been given isometric views and you have to tell which is the side view or the top view whatever okay. now we have analogy problems relation problems okay visual comparison etc so these are the miscellaneous problems that you have to solve now discussing about the architectural components so these are basic components that comes along with a building okay so uh, what i'll suggest is keep one photo or a picture with you of a building components okay which will have the basement ground floor road level plinth level then your steps then your brick work column beams slab chajja projections okay balcony uh, then your building height, roof, etc. So you will be able to guess which is the component and what the purpose of the component. Okay. So like alteration, like you can see here is the existing building and then they have renovated the building at, and added this part over here. So this is called alteration. So removing or adding any structure to the existing structure is called as alteration or renovation okay then balcony then you have basement basement is basically below road level okay uh, then you have balcony which is a projection or a cantilever then you have building heights 
so for the different types of roof you will have different heights okay then you have a plinth then building land then basic footing foundation habitable room ground floor we have then plinth area site okay the setback line you have to know all of these uh, you know components or the terms then we have room height structural wall external wall porch courtyard uh, courtyard means the open area inside the building okay the mezzanine floor parapet loft then your chacha or sunshade then covered area okay mezzanine floor is something then intermediate floor between two floor levels is known as your mezzanine floor okay and uh, this case you might see in some of the shops or malls or even cafes nowadays okay now we have damp proof course drain drainage etc there are even more terms but these are some of the main terms that you should know okay these are the basic terms then coming on to the building materials we have cement steel and sand so uh, this is for your basic understanding and what you can do is just take a screenshot of this slide and you can print it out and stick out somewhere where you are practicing or you have your revision board ready so you can just look at the properties of steel the uses of steel okay whether it be a natural material or a man made material so here we have cement which is one of the best binding materials okay so you can just highlight whatever you need to highlight in this likewise so binding material is cement it is used to prepare cement mortar cement concrete it is used for building chemical proof structures to build fire proof and thermal structures then coming on to steel it has many advantages due to exceptional qualities like durability high tensile strength resistance and corrosion then we have steel is environment friendly and sustainable okay stainless steel tool steel light gouache steel there are different types of steel then we have sand okay so sand is what it is fragmented naturally occurring material consisting of very small particles decomposed rocks or corals or shells and these are types of sands okay so you should be knowing all of these basic things about the material then we have again concrete brick glass likewise you have to take the notes so that's why i have made such type of notes that you can also make for yourself or even you can do the categories like the material the properties the uses uh, the picture you can do anything okay then we have natural materials like mud stone wood again we have the uses and the definition for the mud or the stone now coming on to the history of architecture again i have tried to make a list where you can have a proper revision let's take a look so this is the revision board i have made for you all for history of architecture so here we have all the architectural period and timeline here we have the key features then famous buildings from that particular period and the materials and techniques used okay so this will be a great idea for you to practice so that you can just look for the prehistoric period the key features uh, then you can look for the famous buildings from that period and then the materials okay so likewise i have tried to make all the timelines for all the history of architecture or architectural timeline that we have we have prehistoric period then indus valley civilization near east civilization egyptian civilization then we have greek roman early christian byzantine then islamic period romanesque gothic period renaissance period revival period and modern period likewise so i will suggest you to take screenshot of these and paste on your revision board okay so that whenever you are looking for any history of architecture you will have the exact key features famous buildings materials and technologies okay so this was the part 1 of the aptitude revision please stay tuned for the part 2 i'll be posting that soon and if you like this video you know the drill please like comment share and subscribe to my channel below do not forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye